Hmm. What are we gonna do? Should we shoot? I think we could do it. The weather looks good. Yeah. It's overcast. We won the lottery! Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi there! It's Zdenka and Marissa. Thanks, bye, for stopping to this channel. We're gonna be doing street style photography today. And um, yeah, I thought uh, it would be fun to try. We never met before, so first time together. We are still good, we are still friends. Yeah. We'll see you at the end of the shoot. And uh, I brought two cameras. Canon EOS M50, which is right there, and 5D Mark III, which is a 50 millimeter lens, nifty 50. It's gonna be very easy and simple, hopefully. Let's get going. Ready? Ready. Today's video is about street style, urban style photography. I did that with model Marisa the other day. Um, this morning I actually headed out to downtown Oshawa, where I am from, to finish this video to do the whole commentary, but it was so windy I couldn't find a decent location where the sound would be okay, so I decided to head back to the studio. That's why I'm sitting here and uh, I'm gonna take you through the whole shoot. Who is the model? Her name is Marisa. She used to work as a professional model in Toronto. She was represented by one of the bigger agencies. And last few years, she had a break from modeling. Once she showed up, there was quite a bit of a selection of a wardrobe. So I optioned for the jeans, denim jacket, colorful t-shirt, and also a sweater just to mix it up a little bit. So we end up with two different looks. What did I shoot with? I brought two cameras with me. Canon 5D Mark III with 50 millimeter lens, nifty 50. And I also brought Canon EOS M50, and also I was using 50 millimeter lens, nifty 50, with Viltrox Speed Booster. Now, I took exactly half a half with each camera. So as you're gonna be looking at the photos in today's video, they will be mixed exactly half half. And I think it's gonna be very difficult for you to find out which photos took which camera. We ended up shooting at three different locations. Let's look at the first one. It was on a very bright street, literally sitting at the corner. At this first location, the first minute, we were practically testing each other. I, because I haven't worked with Marisa yet, I didn't know how she's posing. She had no idea how I am working. So the first few shots were very easy and very casual. I didn't give that many directions yet because I wanted to see what she can do. Once we both warmed up, I started directing Marissa a little bit. I wanted to see that happy, full of energy commercial look because the street was just very vibrant and very bright. The building had some red in it, so did her t-shirt or kind of like a pinkish red. So I thought it would just need a lot of smiling, a lot of energy, a lot of happiness. To get the most out of this little set on the street corner, I tried to mix different posing, so I did some very tight portraits, I did some full body shots, maybe walking shots, sitting photos, three quarters, just give it a big variety. First location was done, second one. The other day I was driving by these graffiti, very colorful walls and I thought that would be perfect, especially if she would be wearing denim outfits and very colorful t-shirt because the more colors, the crazier it will get and it will just bring that urban scene. And again, I started with very close-up headshots. Once I started editing the photos, I just went for a different little bit of feel. It felt like I can add that um, kind of like an old-looking style to the photos, kind of rusty-looking style, which I thought worked pretty good. Then I turned Marisa to the other side and I started posing her a little bit more, so I was seeing a little bit bigger part of her body, where again, I wanted her to be a little bit more as a model, not so much as a cute girl next door, but I mixed those smiles as well. My style of photography is usually very colorful, very vibrant, and that's what I like. Uh, when I was posing her on the other side, I kind of didn't like that car in a way, so I was trying to get rid of it. And for that, I brought a very special tool, which I have right here, and it's the optical prism. It gives you different feels to the photos. You can get some very cool effect. So when I was pointing the lens on the model, all I did, it was just brought 
the prism to the corner of my lens and I tried turning it. As I was turning it, I was just getting different angles and reflections, different effects. I kind of actually got rid of that car, as you can see in the photos. And for those interested, I actually linked uh, this optical prism in the video description below so you can check that out. I really like the results with this uh, optical prism because it just added to the photos something extra and made it even more vibrant, even more colorful, even more crazy. And that's what graffiti is all about. At the graffiti location, we started having trouble a little bit with light because, hey, we shot at uh, 11 o'clock when the sun is super high. Just when I said that we have perfect weather. <laughs> And yes, we started losing the overcast, the sun was coming out, it was very bright. So I started posing Marisa more in a shade. The sun was reflecting from the ground back on her, so she had her face lit pretty nicely. The third location was purely by accident. We jumped in a car and we were driving south. I gotta tell you, normally I would not really shoot by myself in the south because it can get rough there. But luckily we found this what well, used to be plaza, now is abandoned, the stores are closed, nothing is happening there. I parked right in the middle of the parking lot, so I had a very good visual around us, so we both are pretty safe. I wanted to do some sitting shots as well, but I wanted to look more casual, more candid style. So I was just telling her what to do, and I pretty much told her to forget posing and just be herself, start laughing a little bit, smiling, looking around in different directions, to get the real feeling so she looked kind of caught in a moment and again at this location i was also using the optical prism why because i wanted to add some more different angles to the shots um, it almost turned out like a double exposure but it was not really double exposure there was a hallway which was not very pretty so when i was using the optical prism i was adding something extra to the image i was actually covering up that hallway which didn't look good the whole shoot really took about an hour and a half we were done with everything and i think we got pretty good variety out of the photos now what would be the photos suitable for first of all i am not going to upload it to stock just because her t-shirt had a large logo her denim jacket has those little buttons where there are logos everywhere. Um, a lot of the shots had different stores and different logos in them, so it's not very suitable for stock. Also, the commercial value for stock would be pretty low, unless maybe she would pretend she's shopping and she has a shopping bag, she's on the phone or stuff like that. But if she's just posing by herself on a street, the buyers are not necessarily interested in these kind of photos. That's why I knew I'm not gonna be doing this for stock. These photos would be very suitable for modeling portfolio. I know that a lot of agencies really like this kind of style of photos because it is more candid, it is more real, but it shows the model very nicely. And it's also good for my portfolio because I can show that I'm also shooting outdoors, not necessarily always indoors, especially after the winter, I need to shoot outdoors and show something new. So I haven't done photography on the street for a long time. It was about time to edit. And now it's for me to ask you the question, do you know which photos were taken with the full frame camera and which photos were taken with the M50? Well, I think we should reveal it right now. One thing I didn't talk about yet is about coloring the photos, making them really pop. Obviously, when you take the photos with the camera, they're gonna be very basic, um, just, just regular photos. But once you put it in a Lightroom, you start playing with the photos, you make sure the colors pop, then you make the photo really stand out. I hope you liked today's video. It was a little bit different, took you to downtown Oshawa. That's where I am from. If you liked it, give it thumbs up, subscribe to all future videos. If you have any questions, comments simply want to say hello you can do so in the comment section below and i will see you in the next video ciao ahoy